Hey guys, uh, new Lighthawk Challenger. Pretty sweet little boat, pretty quick. I know I shouldn't have been running it today, but I did. I was excited. It was a new toy. Uh, broke it, obviously. Ran it into some ice and some pipes and stuff and water. Didn't have much room to, to ride it around, so. Anyways, glued, uh, glued the rudder back together for the interim. But I did find some issues. I didn't like how it turned. So uh, I'm taking it from an offset rudder. There we go. Taking it from an offset rudder, and I'm going to end up putting this rudder directly behind the prop so that it has uh, hopefully a little bit more maneuverability. So, what I've been doing to do this so far is that I've removed the two transom struts. These little supports, as you can see, I've removed from there. Those are the original ones. And these two here were the ones that. Oops. Were the ones that held the, uh, the, uh, fuck me, the rudder. Um, so I was noticing that if you look at this, the original support and the rudder support had holes in the same spot. So I was thinking, okay, well, maybe I can uh, switch these out and I can put the rudder directly behind. So as of right now, it's looking like it's going to work. The only thing I think is going to stop me is the, uh, the steering shaft from the servo might be too short, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Thanks for watching. Welcome back. As you can see, I now have the new supports on the back. Got four little holes to fill, providing everything works properly. Uh, no issues as of yet, except for getting all of these these little screws back in. There's a plate on the inside. Looks like this here. And, uh, I don't know, there seems to be a slight issue with the transom. That, uh, the transom's a little bit crooked. It's not square on the inside. Down in here at the back, if you can see all the way in there. Um, so the support was a little bit crooked, uh, so that means one of the one of the screws didn't thread in properly, but I've got three out of four. I'll end up putting some glue on behind it, I guess, just for a little extra help. And uh, aside from that, uh, that's as far as I've gotten. Oh, there it is. Complete. Uh, maybe have to change where the water pickup is. Potentially right here. I uh, don't know if the relation to the propeller is going to make a difference if it will be able to pick up water or not. If not, uh, I'll just stick it somewhere underneath the hull like I've seen other boats. Um, I'll drill a hole in the bottom and uh, and glue around it. But uh, there it is with an inline. Almost broke my glue there. There it is with an inline uh, inline rudder. Hopefully this works. And if it does, I'm going to look into maybe an aluminum, all aluminum, uh, nice one piece one where the, uh, where the rudder kicks up instead of it being solidly mounted. And there you have it, the modified Challenger with uh, about three minutes of use on it. Hopefully this works. Yes, I see that my steering rod is not connected. It's because I'm waiting for glue to dry on the rudder. But there you go. Nice clean job. No aftermarket parts. Uh, just everything that came with it. And uh, all I have to do now is fill these four little holes here. Everything else is good. I'll show you the review afterwards.